Shannon Halligan here with that story. Shannon. Yeah, charging documents uh, show that the alleged incident happened in Kansas on September 9th. Prosecutors in Douglas County charged Terrence Shannon Jr. earlier this month. It wasn't until the district attorney in Kansas issued a warrant for his arrest that university officials suspended the team's leading scorer. <laughs> University of Illinois basketball player Terrence Shannon Jr. has been suspended from all team activities. This comes after the Chicago native was charged with rape. The allegations stem from a trip Shannon Jr. took to Lawrence, Kansas for the Illinois football game. A statement from the University of Illinois Division of Intercollegiate Athletics said, quote, DIA and Urbana campus officials have been aware of a Lawrence police investigation into Shannon since late September, but until Wednesday had yet to receive actionable information. Shannon's arrest triggers the DIA student-athlete misconduct policy. Under that policy, Shannon has been immediately suspended from all team activities. Any change to Shannon's status will be communicated in a timely manner. Prosecutors in Douglas County charged Shannon on December 5th with rape or an alternative count of sexual battery. The complaint said the accuser was born in 2005. Shannon Jr.'s attorney said in a statement that he was innocent of the charges and has cooperated throughout the investigation. In less than 24 hours, my client responded and he voluntarily surrendered to local authorities for processing and release. Terrence is innocent of these charges and he intends to take his case to trial. Shannon Jr. was named All-State and All-City as a senior at Lincoln Park High School. The fifth year, Illini was second in the Big Ten in scoring. According to the university, Shannon Jr. turned himself into authorities Thursday, where he posted bail and returned to Champaign. Coach Brad Underwood's availability with reporters on today was canceled. Illinois Athletics Director Josh Whitman is expected to speak tomorrow, though, before the home game against Fairleigh Dickinson. Ben and Jenna. Thank you.